In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look together at three-dimensional titling, or titling that seems to be three-dimensional. A word about 3D in PowerDirector. The documentation is very careful to let you and me know that actual 3D photography is something that is beyond most of us because you need special equipment with two lenses that are about 65 millimeters apart to produce true 3D. But we can make objects that look 3D and we can make titles as well. That's what we're going to focus on today is titles. I click on my title room where I can press the F7 key. And if yours is set to all content and you click the down arrow, you have one that says 3D and one 3D like. When I click on 3D, guess what? My list is empty. I don't have any 3D templates in my version. I haven't bought any or found any. Uh, but I have to click on the 3D like, and there is one template that does appear. So let's work with that. I'll drag that down into any track I like, and we'll play with it a little bit. I can click the F2 key or double click on it to get into the title room. And instantly we'll see what this looks like. I'm going to change the size of this all the way up from 50 to uh, 72 so we can see it better. And I'm going to move it over a little bit toward the center. And let's look at some of the features we have here. Uh, we can affect the, the face of the title. And it starts out being white. That's the default, whether it's bold or italic. And we can affect the kerning. Of course, we can do the, the style of letter. I can do it to semi-bold here. I can change it to uh, any other kind of font that's in my font, font uh, bin. Let's do the Eris bold here just for fun. And so here I have a title. I can, I can change on the font face another thing called extrusion. Now extrusion is the Z ratio. It's how deep it looks. And watch as I begin to stretch that back farther and farther. I can go from 100 to 1. So 1 you barely see. And anything under 15 is kind of subtle. And then you can make it deeper and deeper if you want. I can also change the opacity. It starts out being 100% opaque. And I can change the uniform color. This is the font face color. And that's the same uh, option we have up here. So these two will be identical. We'll leave it on white for now, and I'll show you why in a moment. The other thing we have that's new with a 3D title is rotation settings. We have X, Y, and Z. Let's see what they do. When I click on my X and I move it to the right, okay, yeah, I move it to the top. I can actually move it upside down and inside out. Okay, but X tends to move this in this direction. Okay, that's my X. Let's see what Y does. Y moves right and left swinging one end over as opposed to the other. That's my Y axis on rotation. So I can say let's turn it this way and I can say let's take my X and turn it this way, back it off a little bit more. And the next one is my Z rotation. Okay, so I might move it like this. You can play with this all day long and get something that you kind of like. That's what you can do in terms of moving your text around. Another feature you have is texture. You can add texture. Right now it has no texture. Let's click on some of these. And this is the texture of, this will texture everything, the face and the shading. More sophisticated programs will let you change one or the other. Here's a gold one. Here's a metallic one. Let, let me expand the extrusion so we can see this a little more dramatically here. There we go. And uh, uh, you have a wood one, a brick one, another kind of brick over here. Um, we have this one. I have no idea what to call that. It looks rather odd. We have a leather looking one. Um, so these, these are examples of things that you can do. And now when you go to edit your text, it will turn into your conventional two-dimensional at least mostly, 
and we'll go ahead and we'll change our font face color. We'll change it to a pink. Click on OK. OK, then click off of it. Now I have a pinkish color and I can actually add a texture to my pink color. Oh wait, no, I have to click it on edit mode again. OK, Control A, select all. Now we'll do this one, a metallic pink. There we go. And can click on it again. And now let's try highlight it one more time. And let's try pink looking brick in this case. Click off of it. Yeah, I still have my brick and it's pink. Let's go ahead and make it bigger so I can see even more texture on the individual. Let's, we don't have to settle for these numbers, by the way. I'll put 120 in here. Make it huge and see what it looks like now. There you get a little bit more of a look at it. But it gives you many different ways in which you can change and modify your, uh, your text here. Let's try get off the pink scale and try something that's, uh, oh, let's try bright yellow this time. Okay, and oh, that's interesting. Okay, so there's a, there, there's one way to look at 3D. And uh, so you and I can, uh, you can experiment, experiment with this all you want to uh, change the look and feel. There's a fiery one. Oh, that's kind of cool. And another brick one. And uh, to change the look and feel any way you want. But that's what the fun that you can have with 3D titling in CyberLink PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.